Bees here for Astralis. Carrigan goes down as well. They haven't got a single frag here. Cajun Bees got three HP down. I've got more fingers. He's gone down. Four versus one. 20 seconds left on the clock. There are tagged Gambit Gaming players, but the bomb's being planted on the wrong side. The device is in trouble, Dan. Yeah, so... Even if they lost this round, they, okay, well, let's see, let's see if Device can actually save this one. He's got three players to find, of course, he's got a kit, full HP. Oh, just barely missing that angle, and looks like he's going to take just a, just a little bit of damage, down to 76. So, that initial mistake won't cost him too dearly, but that bomb is really taking away, and there's two players still left to find. This is really, really difficult. He's, of course, going to be looking at the most likely spot towards Pop Dog, but where is the second player as well? He's going to spot both. Oh, oh no! no! It's, it's going to crater, fall to his death, of course. Very well played here by Hooch, he's going to force the vice to go close, so he cannot have time to get the defuse in, but Adren with a very embarrassing mistake there. But still, even more embarrassing Full is HP. that Astralis oh, just even barely missing that angle, and looks like he's going to take just a, just a little bit of damage, down to 76, so that initial mistake won't cost him too dearly, but that bomb is really taking away, and there's two players still left to find. This is really, really difficult. He's going to do superhero landing, wait for it! it Yeah, that's really hard on your knees. Totally impractical. They all do it. Where there's a four-man stack from Envy, he's going to be jumping around the corners, trying to avoid being headshot with that Mac 10, he's trying to uh, spam people with a hail of bullets. There's a nice stack there from Kenny and that's going to do the job. That may speed things up from CLG over towards B bomb site. They've pretty much got control of all the uh, choke points in that direction now. As you see, Apex coming close, going to try and jump into the drop zone, but Cutler's there to greet him with open arms. Rather than a hawk, he may want to be uh, a vulture picking the dead bodies of these players. There goes two. Oh, he's just making money now. He's rolling it. Just one after another. That's uh, a. <laughs> he's that guy. Huel. Huel from Baking Brad. That's like, yeah. He's a, he's, he's a fat 25 seconds. Abe and Jason are both on this bomb side. Really trying to see if they can defend it. And he spots the first guy jumping in. But Dennis. What a ridiculous running AK headshot to take out Abe. And Jason and Smoke's gonna cover it as well. They're in a world of trouble. Yeah, and Dennis is close. No chance at all for Jason. You thought that Liquid was gonna be sort of uh, in this game early on. You didn't think it was gonna be a turn to do it. So very, very fun and impressive right now. Nitro opening up the middle in a round that's again down to pistols. The third round here um, after the pistol where Faze have only got pistols. So. Uh, they just can't get their feet under them. It feels like they've only had a single round to buy all the nades, yeah. all the gear to go with it. Instead, it's just nice. Oh, with the team, he hits Fox to start. Jacob with the double spray, making a triple. Simple's helping him out as well. Jacob just can't be stopped. Finally, Adren will lay him low, but the damage is done. Huge spray from Jacob to start things off. Oh, that was a nice tap from Adren, who's actually got some decent kills in the last couple of rounds here. Still a one on two, but if ever there was a time for Jacob to wake up, there definitely is. But Adren coming into it, getting one more kill, now a triple. One more for the quad and the huge upset round here. If Liquid win this, it's going to be a big step forward to taking this map away from FaZe. And Michael, he's a bit weary right now. He's, there's so much time, this is the problem. If Adren walks away, then... It's just a guessing game from Michael Ellis' point of view. There's so many mind games because he can still wrap around through mid if he wants, get through vents, try and come back onto that B site. He's waiting to see if Michael Ellis is thinking the same thing right now. This is all about, you know, who's going to take that first step, who's going to be able to outthink their opponent. And Adrenaline right now, he's trying to check in mid to make sure that Michael wasn't trying to go for a fast one, try to rotate around through. Which and now this opens happen. it up. This opens it up here for Adren to actually make it towards that A site. And see, the question is. All right, so Adren is going to sort of, he's going to stick with his gut here and his intuition and just go for it. You, when you spend this long making a rotation, you could definitely end up sort of second guessing yourself and thinking, wait a minute, maybe he already knows that I'm doing this and I'll have to try something else. But great call right now for Adren. I've got to say it's a triple kill. It's going to be a bomb plant as well. He plants out in the open. How did he plant far enough out in the open that Mike Lilly can't stay covered? I'm wondering. It doesn't look like it's all the way in the corner, which just scares me a little bit here. Yeah. But he does also have a Molotov and Michael has a kit. So you've got to think about the timing here. If Michael starts defusing, then Adren can't just count on the Molotov. He has to go and shoot him as well, otherwise there won't be enough time, or there will be enough time for the defuse anyway. Michael trying to see if he can get in. He's got no grenades, and it is all the way in the corner. So yeah, this is just an open plant. Michael taps it once. Adren going to go for the peak once, and he sees that he's not being defused anymore. He goes down a quad kill and a clutch. Adren with a massive round here for Team Liquid. What a huge action here. So now this is starting to show FaZe that Liquid have a variety of plays that they can throw out. It's not just going to be bomb site focused kind of play, where FaZe can cheat a little bit and keep like three players on one side on the other and not really focus too much on mid if liquid start getting you know start showing that they're capable of using mid in their repertoire of plays phase are going to have to start changing up and that's not going to look too hot for them considering you know they've been struggling a little bit so far with just holding on to the sites themselves 
add another element into the mix and they might start struggling quite a bit. And that mid control gives some some really, really good opportunities for attacking B, which I think is what they're trying to do right now. Fox and Jacob are here, so if Fox can get an early AWP kill, that's going to be helpful. That's flash in. He does lake. Simple, but not enough to actually bring him down low. It's just 64 health left, and now they're both on the bomb side, and I don't like this setup, especially if there's Molotovs coming in. I think Simple's just got one. They're going to be running into the bomb side. Jacob now in a really bad position. Fox in the corner. Quick trade going in, and Fox, he's going to keep the first shot on Hiko, but he has to do more than that. He's going to go down to Adrenaline, it's a 2 on 2 with 15 seconds. And he decides, he decides to re peek. That's the issue. If he could have just stayed alive a little bit longer, the smokes might have worn out and Rain might have been able to have an impact. Instead, Rain is getting naded right, into the Stone Age right now. And it will be a 2 on 2 after that scenario here for FaZe. Coming through the vents, Michael, they must win duel for him, but Adrenaline, he's playing it wisely. He's not gonna, He's not gonna lose that fight. However, he does lose his teammate Simple on the site, and the bomb is not planned for him. Rain decides to stick it. He's got the kick. He's got the flash as well. He's actually going to go for it. Decides to take the fight. Adren, he is going to be able to come through once again for his team. Another 1v1 clutch coming through for that A player. Smoke right now helping Michael Lele, but actually they're going to come running right through. He gets both of the last bullet. That's incredible. Leash and Nitro. Where is he going down? What a hold coming out of Michael here. And Adren, see the guy save him in the corner. It's going to be simple to pick up that kill from right behind the Hiko with a headshot on the AC, and that brings it back into a three on three. Great comeback into the round here for Team Liquid. In spite of them being down two men early on, Hiko going for the default plant, which means Simple's position is less effective now in main. If it comes to an afterplant, if it comes to a defuse, that's going to be dangerous. Great shot from Rain takes down one. He's baiting Simple for the shot and not being successfully at two on three. Whoa, sick flick, and that opens it up. Hiko is going to peek out and take out Fox. That's starting things off now. Fodder has been established, but Hiko's taking care of work all on his own. He's going to get all three. Simple, he's the perfect bait. He allows Hiko. Actually goes for that shoulder peeker not to confirm. But there it is. Good coordination coming in here from FaZe. They both peek at the same time. Rain and AZ. And now, well, this is going to bite even more time because Liquid has to worry about some of it being close part. Oh, and Rain actually winning that fight. He's down to four health. I mean, once you're in the corner and they know you're there and Simple saw him the first time, that's not a very good position any longer. So, huge play coming out of Rain here with that double kill. Mike Lilly inside the A bomb side. He's going to get shot down by Hiko, but AZ is there. And actually, Elise is going to be getting a. Oh, sorry, Hiko getting a team kill on Elise. AZ going down, but he did that to help out. Now Rain coming in. Gets one more kill for the quad with four health left. He's going to be winning the round for them and plenty of time for the defuse, obviously. Said there's gonna have Glocks, P250s, and they're gonna have a contact A play. All five players committed towards the A ramp. And this time it's Nico who'll be going in first through the smoke with the Glock in hand, seeing what he can do here. But you can see such a passive hold from the CT system. Don't need to give anything away, and here comes the execution. Fur already lining them up though again. That MP9, the sewing machine, stitching everything. Look at the damage. World edit in Bondic. Hardly seeing anything other than a grenade go toward them, and they're extremely weak on this. Threat's got the position. He's gonna get dinked up though as he goes for the peak toward upper. That brings Get Right back over to join in, and the nade will close out the two set players. That's one way to get things done, is Get Right looks for his fourth in the round. P90 just moved. Astralis get the man advantage, and CLG needs to realize this that the Deagles are out. They have to sit back and be a little bit more complacent. Not only that, with the armor bought up, the MP9 and MP7 actually aren't as effective in these situations. So this gets even more scary in that they've lost a man already. Well, they've got Dupree now causing more attention towards Long. The rest of the players poised and ready towards B. He's just trying to pick up or peel someone when it's actually worked out. You see JDM and Hayes moving. They are going to hit the footstep now. Here comes the to B. JDM picks up one, okay. make it two as well with the MP9. And now it's going to back to the bottom as well. Oh, I said the MP9 might not be as effective, but JDM is certainly not showing any remorse. What a great economy build for him. Four kills for the MP9. 
Uh, remember, he's the AWP player uh, to about t 22 health and all the faster and the rest speeding up that work on B. They're trying to try and see if they can work on B as well. And he's getting a counter headshot, getting a second kill. Could he get a third as well? Nitro has gone down already. He leads to massive work up on the catwalk. Flush a This is the 15th round, and of course, NIP are going to go for the four spies. The last round, the first half here. And, you know, after going to B the last round, they're like, okay, let's go back to A. Hope we get lucky. And, well, catching off fur like that to start, it's not a bad start. Bomb still very, very far back. And yes, you're absolutely right. When you are in the when you're on the T side, you really want to trade. Now five rounds I think is is still workable, but it's 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 getting a bit scary for NIP, especially considering how everything started out. You know, you you'd, you'd want more than five rounds here. Six, and I think we've got a very, very even game in our hands. But mm -hmm. that, that kill that just came in. It's going to be a little bit tricky. FNX in good position, taking the tournament, and so far, you know, very one-sided affair. And here comes that confidence once more. Existence actually getting taken down by Stewie with the P250, and now Smith's looking to rectify a screen. Does find one, and it brings it to a 4-4. Four and, four. and they're going to try Cat. They haven't been up here in a while. It's unexplored territory, but it works out the first frag because it's going to be Shroud who manages two. The pistol versus the Eagle with a decent range. And he's got more than that. He picked up the AK. There we go. Finally, he gets a lot. Two and five sets of armor as well. So quite an aggressive fragging approach. His screen does get a headshot to start. And here comes that mid split that Moses just mentioned before. Smoke off towards CD spawn. And here comes the play towards the B site. Flash over. Does catch out existence slightly, but he's able to turn back fast enough and then turn around again to find not only Freakazoid, but also Stewie. It shocks on his Skadoodle immediately after. And suddenly it's all Shroud remaining. And G2, they'll strike first blood. They'll take the pistol. Just one towards B so far, that's going to be existence by himself, looks like another B-Rush, why not, well before, let's try it again. Freak though, tag down low, exist, other existence, excuse me, this is not NIP, gets a kill on the entry and the reset potential is all too real. Skadoodle spots up one, he's off, he's not in the shot, that one was all too easy, misses again and things go from back to worse because existence is stayed on. Let's see what they can do with this. They've got pistols, and so far they have managed to take that screen. RPK replies, and Smith's doing damage over the door, but it looks like this round is only going one way, and RPK finds a second. Oh, RPK is going to have to for more. Dorf, good flash in from his teammate, gets two, Ooh. and turns it. And then, not being assertive, he's not the way to do it. He has to be taxing now. AK rushes straight oh, towards B, why not? He gets taken out of 6 HP, but does survive. That was a day shit, what? and what is that from Kenny S? He gets Waylander on the way through. They had no idea he would be at the small pit. He was a sitting duck afterwards, but at least something for him to cheer about. Apex, this is good timing. He's come back through the vents early, but does, does he know? I'm not sure he's aware that Hooch had already pushed through. Happy finds him immediately after. But if Apex could have stayed alive in that position, it could have been an absolute thorn in the side of Gambit, who now finally have control of the B site. And with a bomb going down, it's going to be 3v3 on the retake. And Envious, this is massive pressure. This is their biggest task yet. Kits on all three. Devil's made his way through the vents already. He's going to try and get as much information as possible. Happy's going to go ahead and Molotov off the box behind him so he doesn't have to worry about any chance of anyone sitting and trying to use timing. That allows him to go in. And Devil, he's going to try and raise hell, but Adren's not going to allow it. And he goes immediately back into back to Happy to find the refrag, but it's Adren to close it out. And then the are done. Gambit lives on.